Hey friends, this is Monica from Honey Pretty Designs and I'm excited to show you the behind the scenes of drawing Ginza from Lucky Party Rookie. So I'm publishing this video a couple months after actually drawing Ginza, but I decided I wanted to show kind of the real time process of how long it actually takes me. So I, this is just the middle of the process. I obviously have been drawing um, for, I don't know how long, maybe 30 minutes to an hour before I started filming this. Um, but just wanted to show you something that wasn't like a, you know, sped up time lapse so um, You guys can see kind of a more realistic process of how long it takes me to put together these um, drawings and so Yeah, this was a really fun one um, Again, you can go and follow lucky at lucky party rookie on Instagram to see all of Ginza and Lucky's cute adventures um, but yeah, I am creating this, so I did create this in the um, new vector style that I've been using. I used the program Procreate on my iPad with the Apple Pencil to create my drawings and I have recently been um, playing a little bit more with vector art instead of kind of the more, um, like I was using kind of a graphite, graphite um, like texture in Procreate before. But I really like the modern feel of this vector style. Um, it allows me to kind of um, get more of those like clean lines that I think are really pretty in the drawings. But um, yeah, just let me know in the comments what style of art you prefer. If you kind of like the more traditional like graphite look that I was using before or if you are a fan of this like vector drawing style. So just let me know, but yeah, I'm really excited to be doing custom portraits again soon. I have been, um, so we just recently had a giveaway to kind of kick off the reopening of the shop and then I have plans to um, continue doing more contests on my Instagram. So just check out at Honeyboo Designs on Instagram to follow along for contests and any updates like that. But um, yeah, you can win a chance to have your little cutie drawn um, in, a, in this vector style. And um, the reason why I kind of was drawn to this vector style is because I had so much fun taking these, so I can actually take these vector drawings that, um, so basically what the difference between a vector and just a regular drawing is, is that you can actually resize the picture without losing any of the quality. Like usually with a, a regular drawing, it's just made with pixels. And so anytime you enlarge it um, beyond its like biggest original size, it kind of looks blurred. And that was really <laughs> frustrating for me for um, when I was trying to create your custom products because I would um, take this drawing that I took hours to draw and then if I had to resize it any bigger than the original it would end up looking really blurry on the custom product like for example you know if someone ordered a sweater or a tote bag or a t-shirt like I wouldn't be able to enlarge it past its original size without it blurring and so what you can do with these vector drawings is that you can actually take the vector and resize it however big you want it and it won't blur because it's not made of pixels, it's made of vectors. So um, that's the one thing that I thought was really cool about it, but also you can take that vector and put it into Canva and essentially, you know, do anything you want with it. So you can resize it however big you want and add, you know, with Canva's, especially if you have the pro version of Canva, you have access to all of the different um, like elements in Canvas. You could add little hats or little outfits, um, all sorts of things. You could make calendars with your vector pet or you could make, um, you can actually print straight from Canva. So you could add the pet into Canva, add a couple of little props or uh, accessories or outfits to your dog or your cat um, or your pet. <laughs> and then you could actually put it onto like a t-shirt design it straight in Canva, and then just print it through Canva as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. That's why I kind of went more the vector route. So yeah, hopefully that's something um, you guys will be able to kind of follow along with all these other videos that I have on my channel. If you are wanting to know how to do that in Canva, how you actually insert your pet into Canva, 
and um, are able to add the props and accessories. So yeah, I, I'll have more videos on my channel here of the step-by-step -step kind of like tutorial of how to actually do that. But um, yeah, I thought it was super exciting when I figured that out, that like vector is the way to go because you can resize and essentially make it into anything you want. So I thought that was really cool. But anyways, yeah, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are and what ideas you have for if you got your own vector pet, like what you would want to create with it. Like if you'd want to create your own t-shirt or a tote bag or I, so many people have, I've had all these like amazing ideas from you guys to create like custom shoes or planners or stickers or, you know, like digital stickers for like your digital planners and things like that. And so I am always super excited to hear all of your different ideas. So let me know in the comments what you would use your vector pet for. Um, I know, I apologize, this video is gonna be so long because it does take me so long to make these um, <laughs> these portraits in like real time. And I, I am a perfectionist, so it takes me like, yeah, I just go into like every little detail. So, um, yeah, I'll put some timestamps in the description if you want to just kind of be skipping ahead to see um, the final product. But yeah, again, I just wanted to show you the real time process of how it actually works and how I actually create these portraits in Procreate. Um, if you're interested in, um, you can hear honey barking. <laughs> um, if you are interested in learning how to create your own pet in Procreate, like how to use the program Procreate on your iPad, I'll also include a link um, in my description as well. So just be looking down there for any, um, yeah, for classes. So I, I personally learned through, um, it's called Skillshare. It's a platform where you're able to take as many classes as you want. You just pay for like a monthly or annual um, subscription. And um, that's how I learned how to use Procreate personally. But again, I'll have links in the description if that's what you're interested in. Also, if you're uh, interested in like digital planning, digital scrapbooking, that sort of thing, I have some videos on GoodNotes and how to use it and how to actually use like your vector portraits if you already have one of your pet in your good notes like planner planners or scrapbooks so yeah definitely um go through i'll put the links in my description as well but um if you're kind of more into like the good notes side of things um those are definitely good good ones to look up but anyways yeah i just um wanted to also point out so Ginza here is wearing such a cute little outfit. They, the two of them, both Lucky and Ginza, wear super cute outfits all the time. And I just wanted to mention um, the business Diesel Mini Collection. So Diesel Mini, um, I actually also drew some portraits of kind of, yeah, like months ago that you can see the process videos for as well on my channel. But um, Diesel Minnie's mom is an amazing seamstress and she creates these just adorable outfits for your pups. So you'll definitely have to check out at Diesel Minnie Collection on Instagram as well. Um, just another shout out there to a, an awesome small business. So give her some support and get your pups the cutest little clothes. So I'm actually really excited to show you the end product of how Ginza turned out because I think this was like one of my favorite ones um I, I think it turned out really cute so i'll be sure to put that at the end but yeah thank you so much for watching my process and following along with me on my channel at honeyboo designs and definitely let me know in the comments if you'd like me to draw your dog next okay i'm just gonna speed up this last portion here because i'm really excited to show you guys the end result i this is like one of my favorites and here is ginza so cute Thanks for hanging out with me and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more.